Hey guys, we're back here with another Mad Cats TE2 Fight Stick mod. This time around, we're going to actually install the new LED PCB board, which is going to go right in here. Now, to do this, it's actually pretty quick to do, but there is some pre work you're going to have to uh, start with. First of all, if you noticed, I've already pulled off the kick harness here for the uh, buttons themselves. Uh, that's easy to do. Actually, down below here, you just pull back these two knobs here, and that whole thing pulls off. And you can tell I've already got this part loose, which you'll want to do too. There are two screws. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver here, which is something with a thin shaft to get in there. But there's one here and one in the corner back here. And this whole plate just kind of lifts off then afterwards. Because what we're going to do is uh, we need to get inside here. And inside the back here is the uh, adapter where the uh, PC boot board is going to plug into. So we're going to make this all look nice and neat and keep with that. Uh, the other thing you'll notice too is somebody had mentioned to me that the original Guilty Gear series had, or the arcade boards themselves, the, the sticks originally, the bottom row here um, should have the two separated, which is true. Um, I did that just because I actually own an Atomic Wave system. I don't have a Guilty Gear game for it yet, sadly. But the other games themselves all use the two bottom ones here like this rather than having the one split. But for the sake of this, and to keep true to the Guilty Gear thing, we're just going to keep these separated. So. Again, to start off with this little mod, make sure you remove the kick harness from the buttons themselves and the quick disconnects, and uh, unscrew the bottom plate here. So um, the other fun thing too is this PCB came with screws, so you will need your Mad Cat's screwdriver as well for the hex screw that we're going to use for the four here. So we're going to jump in and we're just going to install this real quick and we'll see how it looks. So uh, hang tight and let's see how this goes. For whatever reason, this screw seems to be too big to actually fit in there. I also noticed that the top screw here doesn't have much of a, a give in regards to the indent where, I don't know if this will focus, but you can see how that dips in a little further. Um, that one has a pretty shallow one, so I can't even screw it in. But we're going to go with this for now, and we're going to kind of finish this up and see what happens. And here it is, all lit up. Everything looks nice. Actually, I don't know if the camera will do it justice. So uh, this is how it looks in the light. We'll see how it looks here in the dark. Ooh, very nice. And that was a pretty easy mod. Didn't take too much. Uh, all the lights look good. And they just scale it. So I don't think there's any programming or anything with this one, but it's a real cheap uh, modification. It's only about 20 bucks on MadCat's site. It is available now, so uh, if you want something like this to like, make it look a little prettier, a little uh, shiny and wow factor, I would highly recommend the Mad Cats LED PCB board available now on their website. So that's it. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time.